what kind of advice would you give to a fighter that is trying to tackle this journey? Man, I think I think I've I live my life by two main quotes right now, and that's focus on success, not perfection. And also, it's not that people don't do the right things, it's that they don't do the right things for long enough. And I think when I first got into this sport, I came out with a bang, got to top three in the world, was world champion, beat Eddie Alvarez. And immediately when I got that world title, it was like, okay, I gotta be perfect. Now I gotta be Anderson Silva level. I gotta be George St. Pierre level. I gotta be I gotta be up there with these guys. And I put all this pressure on myself and it ate at me mentally. And then before you know it, you're, you're, you find yourself failing so much because you're putting all this pressure on yourself to be perfect. If you just focus on success and not being perfect, you're gonna fail a lot less. So when I go in, when I go into practice with a perfect mindset, like I wanna be perfect, every single punch that gets landed on me, every single time I get taken down, every single time I take a shot and I miss that shot, that's another failure and another failure and another failure because I'm not perfect. So I think when I first started, I tried to be so perfect and that led to you know, a couple, couple losses because my mental game wasn't there. So focusing on getting better, focusing on getting better incrementally, a little bit, little bit each and every day, focusing on being successful and not perfect is, is really what I would tell all young, young guys and girls getting into this sport, as well as, man, like I, I take this sport extremely seriously. I live my life right, I, I eat right, I sleep right, I train right, I train harder than anybody else, I put in the time, but I don't act like this is the end all be all. And I don't act like this is a huge deal. So so many times in this sport we, we make this sport such a huge ordeal and it's and it is tough because there's money on the line, there's contracts on the line, there's your record on the line, there's the perception of, of, of everybody on the line each and every time you step into the cage. So it is a big event, but it's not that big of a deal. Win or lose, you're still going to be a winner if you if you learn and you continue to move forward. I've had numerous career, numerous losses in my career now, but it's by no stretch of the imagination that I could still be the greatest lightweight, not just on the earth right now, but the greatest lightweight of all time. And if you can continue to have that mindset, that you're still in, you're still going to have your best days out ahead of you and you live your life right and you do the right things and you don't put that kind of crazy amount of pressure on yourself, good things are going to happen. And just continue to continue to surround yourself with the right people, the right coaches, the right training partners, the right management, the right spouse, the right significant other. The sky's the limit.